today's Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooquartofaustralia.com. Now, I'm about to show you a video of Channel 7's lawyer Richard Keegan refusing to deny attempting to destroy evidence back in 2017. Now, that's the same Richard Keegan who was named in the federal court last week by Taylor Orbach in the Bruce Lemon defamation trial. Former Seven employee Taylor Orbach says he spoke to Richard Keegan and Richard Keegan wanted him to destroy evidence for the Bruce Lerman defamation trial. Now, just quickly, the background to the video. Back in uh, 2016, 2017, Kepler and Honey, which the major shareholder was Kerry Stokes at the time, was suing beekeeper Simon Mulvaney for defamation. Now, not long after, they started suing me for reporting on it. Anyhow, though, in 2017, they were trying to settle with Simon Mulvaney and they drew up a deed of release. They thought Simon Mulvaney was going to sign it. Now, they weren't trying to settle with me at that stage, but in the deed of release, they had Clause 6, the Dowling Clause, which I'll put up on screen now. And the title of that clause is Dowling Material and Destruction of Recording. There's a particular recording between Simon Mulvaney and the CEO of Kaplan and Honey, Ben McKee, which was uh, vital for my defence. And they even put in the clause, uh, the deed of release, the clause Dowling Material. And if you go down to... Uh, 6.3, Mulvaney will destroy the recording made on or about the 26th of May 2016 of any conversation between him and Ben McKee, Ben McKee being the CEO at the time of Capilano Honey, and any copy of the recording in his possession. Well, that recording was key to my defence. They wanted him to destroy evidence on Mulvaney. Now, he didn't sign off on the deed of release because he knew he'd be committing a crime destroying evidence for my uh, court proceedings. Now, I'll show you the video of Richard Keegan ducking and weaving, refusing to answer the questions. In the video is also a now deceased barrister, Sandy Dawson. Why did you put the Dowling clause in the Mulvaney deed of release there, Mr. Keegan? Yeah, you got the opportunity to say you were now the knock before. Why did you two put the Dowling clause in the deed of release for Capilano Honey and Ben McKee versus Simon Mulvaney, where you wanted a tape recording or video destroyed? Can you please explain? That's attempting to pervert the course of justice there, Mr. Dawson. You wanted evidence destroyed. And it's in the data release, which is all over the internet. Any comment to make? Mr. Keegan, you were denying putting that clause in there before. Who do you claim put that clause in there if it wasn't you? Thank you. Have a good day. Now, there's documented evidence of Channel 7's lawyer, Richard Keegan, trying to destroy evidence back in 2017. When you put it together with Taylor Orbach's evidence last week that Richard Keegan wanted him to destroy evidence, well, you know it's uh, true. Now, I'll do a follow-up video later in the week. I'll do an interview with Simon Mulvaney, and we'll cut right down to the bone of the attempt to destroy evidence with the Capilano honey. So keep an eye out for that. And please share this video on social media. And Kangaroo Court of Australia's independent media. I publish a website and a YouTube channel. And I'm 100% crowdfunded from viewers like yourself. So please support my Patreon account. I currently have 408 patrons donating $2,284 a month. And I need to almost double that to become financially viable. You can donate any amount, $3, $5, 10 15 20 30 40 $50 a month, whatever suits your budget. It all helps out. The link for the Patreon account will be below this video on YouTube and also on my website. Thank you for your time and have a good day.